And with that, I want to end on just sharing a story that taught me a lot. There's a tunnel in New York called the L Train Tunnel. People in New York City know it very well. It's a tunnel that connects Manhattan and Brooklyn. And 400,000 people use this train and this tunnel. 400,000 people is a larger group than many cities in this country have, OK? So they had to close down a tunnel because the tunnel was old and the tunnel had problems. And the, everybody looked at it and they said, we have to close down the tunnel. 400,000 people couldn't get to work without that train. And they had all these complicated plans on how they were going to mitigate the, the transportation problem and different buses and different cars and different bikes and different horses, the whole alternative transportation. Uh, and this went on for years. Everyone said you had to close the tunnel, and it was going to be closed for 15 to 18 months. Now, when government says it's going to be closed for 15 to 18 months, I hear 24 months to the rest of your life. That's my governmental cynicism. But that was the plan. We're going to close it down, rebuild the tunnel 15 months to 18 months, the MTA. This was going to be a massive disruption. Uh, I heard a lot of complaints. I get a few smart people, Cornell engineers, Columbia engineers. We go down into the tunnel, uh, and we look at it. And the engineers say, you know what, there's a different way to do this. Uh, and they talk about techniques that they use in Europe. And they say, not only could we bring these techniques here, and we wouldn't have to shut down the tunnel at all. Period. We could just stop usage at nights and on weekends, and we can make all of the repairs. And we can do it with a partial closure for 15 months. The opposition to this new idea was an explosion. I was a meddler. I didn't have an engineering degree. They were outside experts. How dare you question the bureaucracy? The bureaucracy knows better. It was, it was a thunderstorm of opposition. But we did it anyway, and we went ahead with it. And we rebuilt the tunnel, and the tunnel is uh, now done better than before with all these new techniques. It opens today. It opens today, and the proof is in the pudding, right? Uh, we went through this period of, I don't believe it, I'm, this is uh, interference. It opened today. And it opens today, not in 15 months, but actually in only 12 months of a partial shutdown. So it's ahead of schedule, it's under budget, and it was never shut down. I relay this story because you can question, and you should question, why we do what we do. Why do we do it that way? I know that's how we've always done it. But why do we do it that way? And why can't we do it a different way? Why not try this? Why not try that? People don't like change, you know. We think we like change, but we don't really like change. We like control more than anything, right? But, so it's hard. It's hard to make change. It's hard to make change in your own life, let alone on a societal collective level. But if you don't change, you don't grow. And if you don't run the risk of change, you don't have the benefit of advancement. 